Wow, 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 what a beautiful store. It's so modern, it's so beautiful and bright and it's not so good in here. <laughs> wow, so many snacks. Oh wow, they even have a husband slash boyfriend waiting area. <laughs> okay, this test. Oh dear lord, it's so good. <laughs> I took a trip to the grocery store In the car we had a PTR The words fell out of my mouth Oh, welcome guys! Thank you for joining me during my lunch break I'm currently out here in BGC High Street by myself, Mike is learning for his pilot school. Today, I actually wanted to show you a place that is right at the end of High Street I only saw the place online and it looks super, super nice So Today I thought I'll just pick up the camera, walk over there because, you know, I'm currently on my morning walk and just wanted to explore some new places. So first of all, kind Tayo, eat with me. <laughs> and then later we go to that place. Before I eat, I mean, look at this beautiful lunch spot here. It's right next to Shake Shack and they actually put up a lot of benches around here so you can just sit down and enjoy it's obviously lunchtime right now it's super hot i know uh, so less people than usual but in the evenings this this one gets very lively and on the weekends we have to do a separate vlog because it gets really busy and things are going back to normal very slowly but surely and i'm super super excited for the weekend to come i think we were in the ice cream section you didn't Okay, midday heat is hitting me hard, so I'm not going to vlog about BGC High Street too much. I just wanted to show you snippets and then on the weekend we'll show you more from this beautiful public area. Now I'm headed down there to show you a new store that opened up. By the way, for those of you who didn't know, there is actually a hidden food hall right next to Harlan and Holden. When you go down the stairs here we filmed a vlog about the food hall a while ago if you want to check it out it will pop up right here this is actually very cool can't wait for musicians to be all around this place i'm a bit careful when we cross the road in the philippines because there are some uh, t-rex crossing <laughs> another cute area and this here is actually the reason for today's video this is a whole new store that looks super super cool from the outside so let's go and see what's inside oh it's closed ah please use other door okay nelly oh wow very nice store beautiful wow 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 what a beautiful store it's so modern it's so beautiful and bright and it's not so good in here <laughs> Wow! So you see a lot of beautiful products here. Fridge, milks, I think this, these are some snacks. Wine and snacks and then over there I think there's a bar but not sure for what. Oh wow, they're playing some really upbeat music here. <laughs> Ready to dance! <laughs> First thing that I want to check out is the fresh produce. It looks like something like Whole Foods in the US because everything is so nicely sorted looks so good and I must say first look I'm very very happy to see that not everything is wrapped in plastic it's still you know in its own form <laughs> like veggies have their own skin and obviously everybody washes veggies and fruits before they eat them price wise let me see okay cauliflower one kilogram 490 pesos that's cheaper than roasted but still expensive though considering it's cauliflower <laughs> oh cool and you can scan everything to order for delivery so that's very practical i think we'll do that because i don't want to walk home when i can have it delivered today i'm carrying a backpack so it's already heavy but uh, let's see let's see if i'm going to buy anything okay this might be a good price indicator 259 per kilogram for mango for 55 pesos for local tomatoes per 500 gram and then they have this area with cheese and ham and salami everything looks very delicious mm, manchego and everything is cooled properly so it's it's a good sign there's some jamon some speck pancetta uh, salami iberico cheddar cheese everything here Wow, they have a little scale, looks very vintage and lots of 
beautiful boxes where they just have the the products in. It looks super super nice. Beautiful floor. I mean, it goes so well with the whole design. Wow, look at that. Nice light concept in here. And I just saw something that is super, super convenient. If you want to buy snacks, but you don't know how they taste, they put the sticker on it. Wanna try, ask our stuff for some help. That is very cool, very unique. Okay, these are plant-based hand soaps and a very very minimalistic design so this would look really nice in a bathroom and they have gifting kits up there so if you want to gift it to somebody and of course everybody's uh, number one go-to <laughs> another good price indicator for the onions free range brown chicken eggs large 139 for 12 pieces i mean free range very nice Over here they have some frozen meats and fish, some uh, pre-coplechon kawali, local meats, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> some fish, I don't know what this fish is but yeah, it's 449 pesos, bangus, I think this is a good price indicator. They have some frozen veggies, some sauces, bolognese, mm. and some breads. Fruits. This is this is the whole section. Oh wow! They even have a husband slash boyfriend waiting area <laughs> while you do your groceries. And even though it looks small from the outside, there's like this back area where they have more products. And something that caught my eye is the kind of zero waste policy that they're trying to fulfill with glass. So that's pretty cool. Is it glass? It's glass. Yeah, it's containers. You can reuse these at home. I will ask if you can actually bring them back. They can just, uh, you know, reuse it again. Some more snacks and another cooler with drinks. Some sweet snacks to go. What else? Water, lemonades, kombucha. Oh wow, they even have a sangria in a can. <laughs> kombucha up here. A very cute sign. <laughs> Cold brew coffee. I think I'm going to take that. <gasps> Wee, this cheesecake looks delicious. And this banana cake. I'm thinking about getting those, one of those for Mike. He loves salted egg chips. Wow, so many snacks. Okay, it's too bad that Mike is not with me. I think we have to come back and check out everything together. But I'll definitely bring him some snacks. I got myself a coffee and he's getting some, uh, just asked to try some veggie crisps with aged balsamic vinegar. So um, the staff here is preparing a little sampler for me. Thank you. Okay. Mmm. Very nice. I think I'm going to to take some with me home. In this corner they have a lot of milk alternatives, so I think it's basically soy milk and oat milk and whatnot. And they have some really cool ciders here. Mm, 128 per bottle. Mmm, nuts. Wow. Oh, they even have shelled pistachios because Mike hates the shells. So I'm just going to bring him some of these. Last step is the milk bar. I already saw they have some really cool flavors. I spoke to the lady and she said cereal milk crack is a must try. It's the best seller, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's possible to try just a little. You can also request some bobas in there, which is pretty cool. I'll go for organic milk. Organic. Yeah. Yeah, all the milks are here in glass bottles. And I'm just giving it a try. I love the design of everything. Everything is so minimalistic. Okay, I'm just giving you a quick look how it looks. So this is cereal with some milk. Okay, taste test. Mmm, that is amazing. Mmm. Oh dear lord, it's so good. <laughs> wow. Highly, highly recommended. It's it's actually sweet, but not too sweet. And then you have the crunch of the cereal. So good. I think I'm just going to buy some pure milk for Mike for his uh, flat white. And I'm going to probably get some something else with bobas. Maybe I'll try the matcha. I just want to try as many things as possible. 
Mm, but this is fantastic. The menu is cereal milk, matcha cat, the OG milk tea, cinnamon toast milk, and burnt toffee coffee milk. Wow. Really love the design of this. So I just got one of the matchas for at home. And for the milk bar, you actually order here. I just saw it belongs to Harden and Holden. No surprise with this beautiful design. Kidoki finished. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, that was quite an experience, I must say. Very different, of course. Very modern, very beautiful. And it reminded me a little bit of a store that I saw in uh, Miami. Oh, sun is coming out. I need some shade. Let's go over here. <laughs> it reminded me of a store in Miami where they had very unique products. Price wise, it's a little bit on the upper level. I would say same range as healthy options slash real foods. So yeah, um, the, the products that I tried were really good. So I'm really excited to see how Mike likes what I got him. Hope he likes these. <laughs> and that was it for today, guys. I just wanted to take you along on this little tour here in BGC. I love seeing new places pop popping up. If you know any new place that has opened up, a restaurant, a cafe, uh, another grocery store or any activities or you know, nearby things that we can do or visit, please let us know. Send me a message on Instagram or feel free to comment on this video. And also, of course, sub subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, we had quite a few people messaging us. They are moving to Manila and our videos have been very, very helpful to figure out what to expect. So I'm very happy to hear that. Uh, thank you for the support and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. Remember to stay awesome, be positive and it happened. Bye-bye.